Hi, my name is Phil Anderson, and I'm running for United States Senate to represent Wisconsin. Short to the point video tonight. WIBA AM ran a story this morning about how Russ Feingold and Ron Johnson have different approaches to the issue of rising tuition costs and rising student debt. Russ Feingold's, of course, is the biggest government approach, and that is we should have more financial aid and we should allow students to refinance their debt. Uh, similar to mortgages. Well, he's forgetting the fact that mortgages are backed by an actual piece of property and a student loan is not. But setting that aside, it's utterly ridiculous. Uh, Ron Johnson's approach is that there are enough government programs to help fund kids going to college, uh, but we just need to make the students more aware of them. Both of those approaches are utterly preposterous, and let me give you an analogy to help you understand how silly those are. If there were a car dealership and a government agency were standing out of front handing out $1,000 bills, to people so that they could buy a car, do you think the price of cars would go up? On State Street, if there were a government program giving out $5 bills to everyone who wanted to enter a bar, would the price of beer go up? And maybe even more, more to the point, if there were a government program that helped people buy stamps or pay for postage at the United States Postal Service, do you think that the post office would find some way to justify raising the price of stamps and postage? Of course they would. It's a bad idea all around. Giving people more money for college education does two things. It increases the price of college tuition, very similar to the way the increase in funds for housing and the lax standards of underwriting in the early 2000s created the housing bubble. It also creates a lot of college graduates who can't find jobs and who are under un or underemployed. So you have a lot of people that have a lot of debt and can't find work and owing the government money. Isn't that a brilliant idea? Sounds to me more like a recipe for debt slavery rather than helping people get ahead, which it is. Oh, So I, I, my question is to both uh, Ron Johnson and Russ Feingold, are you that ignorant about economics or do you have an ulterior motive? Um, I don't really know which it is. I'll let them answer it should they care to answer at some point. But that's really the point of my candidacy is to at least be able to ask questions of those candidates and have them answer them based on real-world experience, real-world economics. Of course, Russ Feingold's not really attached to that very much. He uh, hasn't had a real job in his life. Um, and Ron Johnson, although he supposedly was a businessman, has clearly lost touch with, it, with what it means to run a business and to understand how economics works. So hopefully, hopefully you listen to me. We'll break it down in a very simple way, in ways that we understand it. And, of course, they're evidence-based as well because tuition has gone up by you know three times or whatever since the year 2000, corresponding to the increase in financial aid available. It just makes sense, doesn't it, when you look at it different ways. That's the end of today's video. We'll be talking to you again tomorrow. Thanks very much.